hello we will illustrate in brief primary biliary cirrhosis versus primary sclerosing cholangitis in MRCS part A exam for our next course please log into our website mrcscourses.org simply primary sclerosis versus primary biliary cirrhosis. We will start with primary biliary cirrhosis. It is just autoimmune condition with intrahepatic biliary duct destruction leads to biliary cirrhosis because the bile will lead to cirrhosis of the liver. So you will have in your scenario, female, 40 to 60 years of age with jaundice and other features. Jaundice, xanthelasmus, xanthomas, hepatomegaly, fatigue, itching, worse at night, and you have almost all patients positive AMA, anti-mitochondrial, antibody positive. And the end result will be, as you see here, liver cell failure manifestations, so hepatic encephalopathy, spider nevi, bleeding viruses, caput medusa, and ascites. And it's associated with other autoimmune conditions like hypothyroidism and Jogren syndrome, also with rheumatoid arthritis. So it is intrahepatic only, leads to extravasation of bile to the liver, leads to liver cirrhosis by the bile. So it is primary because it is autoimmune and biliary cirrhosis because the bile will extravasate it causing cirrhosis to the liver. So simply primary biliary cirrhosis, intrahepatic ducts will be affected and it's autoimmune, the female, the patient will be female, 40s to 60s, with itching, xanthelasmus, with positive antimitochondrial antibody, and it's associated with autoimmune uh, syndromes and diseases like Jogren, rheumatoid arthritis, and hypothyroidism. But primary sclerosing cholangitis, you have both extra and intrahepatic ducts affection, leads to multiple fibrotic structures, intra and extra hepatic. This progressive obstruction and obliteration of the bile ducts will lead to severe cholestasis and secondary to biliary cirrhosis. There will be uh, end result liver cell failure. But this time will be mostly a male with hepatosplenomegaly, prorites, mild intermittent jaundice, and may be associated with inflammatory bowel disease, especially ulcerative colitis, also elevated serum alkaline phosphatase levels, fever, and right upper quadrant pain because of bacterial superadded infection and biliary sepsis, cholangitis, and also it's associated with cholangiocarcinoma and gold stone and, and cholidocolithiasis, gold stones in the CBD. So simply, primary sclerosing cholangites, skill means kill. So see everything. So, so intra and extra hepatic ducts, both of them, male, the same age, 40s to 60s, with ulcerative colitis and positive perinuclear anti neutrophil cytoplasmic antibody and associated with cholangiocarcinoma. So, as you see here, this is primary sclerosing cholangitis. Okay, so simply it will be a male with these manifestations. This is primary sclerosing cholangitis, but the previous is a female. I hope these two scenarios are clear for you.
I am thankful for you.